This is Dr. James Lee Jr., board certified orthopedic surgeon, here to discuss shoulder. One of my favorite joints and favorite body parts to examine is the shoulder joint. It's commonly called the glenohumeral joint in, if you look at an anatomy book, but for folks like us, the shoulder is composed of a few things. Number one, it's kind of like a ball and socket joint that allows freedom of motion, right? A very flexible joint that allows you to reach over here, behind here, across your body. And that's this part. Believe it or not, there's also other parts. One is your collarbone as it attaches to the scapula. And then there's actually a bone in the back where the scapula meets the back of the spine. So the shoulder is actually very interesting in that regard in that all these joints work together. Well, how does that matter to you? When we have somebody that comes in with shoulder pain, we look at all parts of the shoulder and we try to figure out what is going on. In our practice, which is a community sports medicine and uh, arthritis practice, in the shoulder, the most common condition is bursitis. Well, what is that? Bursitis is a painful condition that involves irritation between the bone and the muscle in the shoulder. Very commonly, people say, ah, when they reach up, ouch, this hurts, this hurts. Um, that is a painful condition that we see all the time. We diagnose it on clinical examination, x-ray, and sometimes ultrasound. Uh, in addition, there's a condition called frozen shoulder. That's like the opposite of what the shoulder does. The shoulder allows this. When somebody has a frozen shoulder, they come and they can barely lift their arm. Naturally, when the ligaments in the shoulder are normal, pain-free, they allow all this motion. But when they become frozen, they become inflamed. They get irritated. And if you look at them, you know, with uh, an actual camera, it's very red and angry looking tissue. And that patient will come in and say, oh, I, I can't even reach behind my back or I can barely lift my arm. We see it commonly. Uh, it's associated with diabetes, thyroid disease, and sometimes we don't exactly know why it happens. In our athletic population, we service uh, Division II college, local high schools, we'll see instability. That's where somebody actually falls and the shoulder dislocates. And those ligaments that normally hold your shoulder in place become loose. And in certain motions, that shoulder feels unstable. It's very common in teenage uh, athletes, more commonly in contact sports because there's impact to the uh, shoulder. And it can be quite disabling for somebody who lifts their arm above their lifts their arm above their head and they're like, oh, I can't, I can't do anything because it feels like it's going to pop out of place. So we see that, that commonly too. On the other end of the spectrum, there's arthritis where the shoulder's worn out. Uh, this is when patients have limited motion and instead of having a nice cushion in the shoulder, the bone is worn out and it's what we describe as bone on bone or close to bone on bone. And that, be, that can be quite painful as well. Uh, other conditions involve muscle strains. So I mentioned the bur bursitis. Well, the rotator cuff are the four muscles that rotate the shoulder back and forth. And when those are damaged, irritated, they can be quite painful and they can lead to weakness and the inability to raise the arm above the shoulder. So how do we treat it? Well. When people come in with these conditions, we make the diagnosis and then we offer treatment. And that ranges from medication, not uncommonly anti-inflammatories like Motrin, or Advil, sometimes Tylenol. And depending on how severe the condition is, there might be medications that are a little bit stronger than these. From there, we consider physical therapy, which is range of motion activity, stretching, restoring the muscle strength and ability. And then sometimes an injection where we inject uh, a range of medicines from a steroid numbing agent combination all the way to a biologically friendly agent where we draw your blood, we spin it down, and we get the growth factors from the blood and inject it into the shoulder. The whole purpose of this is to help pain and to improve range of motion and function. If those don't work, then we start to consider other options. Um, they range from fixing the problem through small incisions, through a camera, that's called arthroscopy, to replacing an arthritic joint where you go in, remove the arthritic bone, and you replace it with a metal and plastic uh, bearing so that when people move their shoulder around, it, it's not as painful. Um, these are meant to assist with recovery, function, and improve the quality of life. Um, I'd like to thank you for joining us today.
Orange Orthopedics. If you'd like to reach out, please do by telephone or online. We're happy to answer any questions that you have. Have a wonderful day.